Hi guys. How are you today? How do you feel? Very nice teacher. Good night. Good night, David. What about my friend Hugo? How do you feel today? Hi teacher. Good good night. And my friend Angelica, how do you feel today, Angelica? Mm, so so. <laughs> Why? Ah, uh, porque continué con dolor de cabeza y cuerpo. Because I continue with my headache and body cake. Yes. I. I understand you so well because today I don't feel so well. I have a stomachache, but so hard, so hard, guys. And if I turn off my camera, it's because I am drinking my medicine in order to feel better. But I know that you are doing big sacrifice to be here for that reason I am here. As I mentioned, one of my goals is that you improve a lot, but a lot your English. And right now, let me know, my friend Andy, how do you feel today? I feel uh, very boring. Why boring? Uh, I drive my car to San Vicente uh, around two, two hours. Two very... hours. I will help into you to say that. What? I will say, I will help into you. I, te voy a ayudar a cómo decir eso. Ajá. Uh -huh. okay. Y voy a necesitar la ayuda de todos. Ok. What is the subject in this sentence? I. Pero estamos hablando en pasado. Entonces, ¿cómo tiene que ir el verbo? En pasado también. ¿Cuál es el uh -huh. pasado de drive? Mm -hmm. Drove. <laughs> you, you, you got it. You got it. Okay. I drove my car. I drove my car. My car. My car. For two hours. For two hours. Yeah. Because. Because. I have to travel. I have, I have to travel. I have to travel to San Vicente. Mm -hmm. Travel to San Vicente. That's right, Andy. Okay. And what about my friend Eunice? How do you feel today, Eunice? Hi, teacher. I feel good. Hi. Thank you. Nice to know it. What about my friend Francisco? How do you feel today, Francisco? Hi, teacher. Hi, everybody. I feel good. So very good. That's nice. And what about the rest? What about Ada? How do you feel today, Ada? Good night, teacher. Uh, my day is uh, so tired. I feel tired. Uh, yeah, because my mis compañeras de trabajo como es mm, my colleague colleague uh -huh, colleague colleague okay. es como my... colegas porque si okay. vos decís my my partners te está refiriendo a tu pareja y no lo toman como una pareja de laboral sino como una pareja sentimental por eso ah, se okay. ocupa la palabra my colleague o oh, um... workmate and co-workers? Mm, co-worker también no puedes ocupar. O oh, workmate. Mi compañero de trabajo. Porque co-workers... My colleague. Colleague. Okay. okay. What happened colleague, with you? Uh, uh, six. Uh, everyone. So my day was uh, tired. <laughs> okay. I will help you to say that, Ada. You have to say, I feel tired. I feel tired. I feel tired. Because? Because? Six of my colleagues. Six of my colleagues. Six of? Okay. 
six. Six. Of, of, of my colleague. My colleague. Are sick. Are sick. Sick. Remember sick. with. Okay. Yeah. I, you are doing great. What about David? David, how do you feel today? Um, well, I am, I am, I'm a little sleepy mm -hmm. because uh, yesterday I trasnochar, ¿cómo sería? I didn't sleep. I did um, because yesterday I didn't sleep. And why you didn't sleep? Um, why didn't you sleep? That's the right one. Why didn't you sleep? Mm -hmm. Because uh, I I has um, have have have, um, have. Mm -hmm. okay I have um, um work uh, acumulado work it mm. work it podría decirlo así I have to work just that okay I have to work yo tenía que trabajar Okay, right now, my other friends, Gilberto Jovel, how do you feel today? I feel good. Nice, nice. And what about Mario? How do you feel? Good night, teacher. I am okay. Great. Well, today we'll start with this one guys, because we have a lot of things to do it. Okay. Just give me a second. I will stop my camera for a moment guys. Okay. I will play this video one more time. And after that, we have to do a little test. Form WH questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I would like to get started by listening to a conversation titled, He Works in a Hotel. Let's listen and practice. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel, too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there, too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, He's the manager. Now, let's try to understand how to form simple present questions. Let's analyze the examples on the chart. Simple present WH questions. Where do you work? In a hospital. What do you do? I'm a doctor. How do you like it? I really like it. Where does he work? In a hotel. What does he do? He's a manager. How does he like it? It's okay. Where do they work? In a restaurant. What do they do? They're waiters. How do they like it? They hate it. In order to form simple present WH questions, we will follow this next formula. WH word plus do or does plus subject, plus the verb, plus complement. It's also important to remember the following. Whenever we talk about the pronouns I, you, we, and they, we will use the auxiliary verb do. Whenever we talk about the pronouns he, she, and it, we will use the auxiliary verb does. So let's try to make sense of the first example on the chart. Where do you work? At the beginning of our sentence, we have the WH word where, 
Then we have the auxiliary verb do. After that, we have the subject. Finally, we have the verb work. Let's analyze one more example. Where does he work? At the beginning of our sentence, we have the WH word where. Uh, then we have the auxiliary verb does. After that, we have the subject, he. Finally, we have the verb work. Now, it's your turn to practice making as many questions as possible. Think of your friends, family, and co-workers and their jobs. You need to make questions and answers, just like the examples we saw in this lesson. After you finish this task, make sure that you share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, guys, it's time to practice. Yesterday, we have a little review about it, this video and also about these aims. Right now, I know that you are ready for this assessment. I will read the instruction and you will help me to answer the, those questions. Instruction, complete this conversation, select the answer that contains the two words needed to complete each question. First one, what does your sister do? My sister, she is a nurse. In this kind of cases, what would be the question here? How does she like it? How does she like it? How does she like it? Okay, conversation two. At the airport, he's a pilot. Where does your mother work? Oh. He doesn't really like it. Oh, oh, how does he like? Thank you. Conversation three. Oh, I guess they like them. How do your parents like their jobs? Thank you, David. Next one. I in an office in the city. Where does she work? Uh, I don't remember work. I don't remember. Do they work? They work. Number four. What I do you do? What do you do? <laughs> nice guys. <laughs> Number five. They I are... see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see. I see. Uh, how do you like your classes? I like. Congrats, guys. I know it that you will be trying in this assessment. Okay, guys, I will give it to you right now, just five minutes in order to answer this test on your platform. Just five minutes. Tienen cinco minutos para terminar ese test en su, en su plataforma.
It's almost time, guys. Just one minute more. It's time, guys. It's time to continue. Well, the next activity will be, by the end of this class, you will learn placement of active adjectives, and particularly, you will be learn B, B plus adjective and adjective plus nouns. First of all, I will play a video. Noun plus adjective. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title. That's exciting. Let's listen and practice. Hey, Stephanie. I hear you have a new job. Yes. I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter now, you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job. And sometimes it's dangerous. In essence, what we want to learn is how to express the same thing, but in different ways. First, let's analyze the examples on the left-hand side of this chart, B plus adjective. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article, A or an, plus profession, plus apostrophe, plus job, plus verb to be, plus adjective. Now let's analyze the first example on the chart. A firefighter's job is dangerous. At the beginning of our sentence, we will typically use an article whenever we're talking about a singular job. So in this case, A, then we have profession plus apostrophe S, which expresses possessive plus job. After that, we're going to add the verb to be, in this case is is. Uh, finally, we put the adjective. Let's look at our next example. A doctor's job is stressful. At the beginning of our sentence, we have an article, in this case A. Then we have profession plus apostrophe S, which expresses possessive, plus job. After that, we have the verb to be is. Finally, we have the adjective, stressful. Now we want to express these same examples using adjective plus noun. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article, a or an, plus profession, plus has, plus article, a or an, plus adjective, plus noun. So let's make sense of the first example now. A firefighter has a dangerous job. At the beginning of our sentence, we will use the, an article, A. Then we will have the profession, firefighter. After that, we add the verb has. Next, the article A, then we will add the adjective, and finally we need to add the noun, which in this case is job. Now I would like to give you some adjectives which may describe different jobs. And then I would like for you to express your opinion about different jobs that we have learned so far. Let me read them for you. Boring, easy, dangerous, exciting, difficult, 
stressful. So using the adjectives that I just gave you, I would like for you to describe different jobs. And I would like for you to express your ideas in different ways using be plus adjectives and adjective plus noun. For example, a lawyer's job is stressful. A lawyer has a stressful job. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, guys, do you have any question about the video? Uh, I'm so sorry, guys. I turned off my camera because I'm, I don't feel so good. I don't feel, <laughs> believe me. Because firefighter and not fireman. Mm. Because that's the name of the profession, a uh, fire, fighter, fire. If you said a fireman, you are talking about, sorry guys, something like human torch. Had you ever seen uh, Los Cuatro Fantásticos or Fantastic Four? Mm -hmm. Okay, the guy on fire, he is <laughs> a fireman. In fire, man. In fire, yeah. but practice. Mm -hmm. But what about the fighter fighter? They fight against the flames. Their duty is over with the flame and rescue everybody. Mm -hmm. For yeah. the reason, the name of them, it's like that. Right now, I will show you some picture. To be plus adjective. To be plus adjective, as we already learned, the part to be and the adjective. But also, we have another one. And this order of adjective. With this part, you can. Mm, is make a sentence, for example, the first column express or determine the amount. For example, a, the, and this, a, this, that, those, and a. a. What about the second column? A second column, hardly ever, it's an opinion. If it's ugly, comfortable, lovely, beautiful, amazing, wonderful. What about the third column? The third column express size. A small, big, medium, large, extra large. Third column express shape. Have, what's the meaning of shape? Alguien sabe cuál es el significado de shape? Forma. Exacto. For example, round, square, triangle, pear shape, and other ones. The five column express the adjective for age is a new, 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 all colors. It will be the next column. Next one, it could be an origin. If you are talking about a person, for example, that beauty, that beautiful German sport car. The next column express material. It could be silk, wooden, velvet, ceramic, iron, uh, what else, rubber, whatever material. 
purpose? Kitchen or sports? It could be another purpose. For example, a formal, informal, a, what else? Another purpose. Mm, for teach. Something like that. And the last one, it's the noun. As we learned on the video, we have two ways to express ourselves using adjectives. We can talk about the actions or the person who is making the action. Right now, do you have any question, guys? Bueno, continuaremos con that. Platform, entonces, it's time to do a new test. Instruction, write each sentence a different way. Follow the example, no period at the end of your sentence needed. Y aquí nos da un ejemplo. A doctor jobs is interesting. Another way to say it, it's a doctor has an interesting job. Right now, a police officer job is dangerous. What has to be the answer for this? A police officer um, dangerous has a dangerous job. Thank you. Oh, sorry, guys. A teacher's job is stressful. A teacher has a stressful job. A plumber's job is boring. A plumber has a boring job. An electrician job is difficult. An electrician has a difficult job. Job. Uh -huh. A vendor job is easy. A vendor has an easy job. Okay, it's time to verify. Uh -huh. Where? An, an easy job. Has an. Why an instead E? Because the next word starts in vocal. Vowel. Vowel. Nice. I love it, guys. All of you are doing a great job. What else? What about this? Uh, falta de R. <laughs> Is there? I'm so sorry, guys. Today, believe me, I don't feel so good. Uh, but don't worry. We are here to make sacrifice and be better. I believe on you guys. Okay, congratulations, guys. I will give it to you right now another five minutes in order to finalize this on your platform.
Okay, guys, time, time is over. It's time to continue. But first of all, let me know, did you understand these aims? ¿Entendieron este tema, señores? Yes, teacher. Muy bien. Yes. Me... Vaya, entonces, si ¿sí lo entendieron, es la hora de... Bueno, lo haremos eso mañana. Permítanme, señores. I don't feel so good. And we will continue with this. Right now, guys, we will watch a video about a job profile. And after that, we will do this assessment. Tomorrow, I will tell them to you, we will practice the first 15 minutes, please be on time because we will have a little review about the previous aims and also we will practice about all of them because tomorrow we have an assessment, a middle assessment. I will play this video. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll develop prediction and inferencing skills after reading and discussing an article on job profiles. Reading, job profiles. Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works as a waitress at night, but she's really an actress. During the day, she auditions for plays and television shows. Her schedule is difficult, and she's tired a lot. But she's following her dream. Lots of teenagers want John Blue's job. He plays video games for eight hours a day and he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. Is it ever boring? Never. John almost always wins. Becky Peck walks in the park every day for many hours, rain or shine. Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dogs for other people. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. He plans lessons, grades homework, helps with after-school activities, and, of course, he teaches. His salary isn't great, but that's okay. His students like his class, so he's happy. I'm back, guys. I'm so sorry. Eh, perdón, Francisco, me tuve que, que levantar un, un momento, como les comenté. Eh, no me encuentro tan bien en, en estos momentos. Lo siento, guys. Eh, permítanme. Yes, it's better. Okay, guys. We will continue. Um, what do you think about this video, guys? ¿Qué opinas sobre este video? Guys?
Guys. Hello, teacher. Lo siento haberlos dejado por un momento, pero la verdad que sí tenía que levantarme. Eh, pero, ¿qué opinas sobre el video? Interesante. Thank you, Angelica. Ok, right now, we will do the next one. We will do this assessment together. Our four questions and we have to read. I will need a volunteer and my volunteer will be Eunice, can you help me reading this square, please? The first one, just give me a second. It's loading. This one. Leerlo. Sí. Si necesitas ayuda para pronunciar algo, pregúntanos que todos nosotros te vamos a ayudar. Ok. ¿Puedes darle un poco más de zoom? Ah, sí, sí. Thank you. You're welcome. Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works as a graders at night, but she really an actress. During day, during. She, uh, during. During, during day, she auditions for plays and television shows. Here, esa palabra no puedo pronunciar. Schedule. Here, schedule. Here, mm -hmm. schedule is difficult, and she is tired a lot, but she's following her dream. Nice. Thank you, Onise. You did a great job. Thank you. Just welcome. remember the pronunciation of this word is during. During the day. During, during the, day. the day. Okay. And this is a schedule. A schedule. Mm -hmm. What's the meaning of a schedule? Somebody else, let me know. Andy. Horario. Horario. That, that's right. Horario. Okay. It's time to answer the first part. After. Oh, okay, just give me a second. After when I take a break. The other no. question. I don't usually work in the summer. The other question. The yeah. rest of... This Lisa Parker? No, the river. The rest and close at late around? Uh, two o'clock a.m. This is Lisa Parker, are you sure? Yes. She said, wait, wait, wait. Mm-hmm. Pero no dice nada de dos de la tarde. Aún no. no. Aún no, pero dice que trabaja en restaurante. Pero no hemos escuchado a los, de, los demás. I will need another volunteer. And you will be my volunteer, guys. You, Andy. You will help me <laughs> to read in this part. Okay. Video game tester. Este, lots of Lot of. Teenager. Love. Lot of. Esta love. palabra, guys, pay attention in this, in this word. Esta palabra se pronuncia junta. Lot of. Okay. Lot of teenagers. Repeat mm. after me. Lot, lot of te teenagers. Okay, continue, please. Lot of teenagers. One. John's Blues job. He plays video game for eight hours a day. And he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for big video game company. Is it ever boring? Never. John almost always wins. Thank you, Andy. Repeat after me. John Blues. John Blues. Thank you. He plays video games. He plays, he plays video, video games. Game. 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 Hours. 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 Hours a day. Hours, Hours, a, Hours day. a day. Hours a day. Pay for it. Uh, pay, pay for, for it. Pay for it. Game tester. Game, game tester. 
And is it ever boring? Is, is it, it ever, ever boring? boring? Is it ever boring? Remember, Andy, try yes. to repeat in little parts before said the complete sentence. Because when you practice how to say something, you can give a form in that word. For example, okay. is it ever boring? Is it ever boring? Mm -hmm. It's totally different if you said, is it ever boring? Uh, okay. Expression? Yes. When you make a question in Spanish or English, tú le das una entonación. Es como, ¿qué horas son? Ah, ¿qué horas son? Una gran diferencia. It's the mm -hmm. same. Remember, at the moment to make questions, try to give an intonation to them. And right now, I would need one of my friends. Francisco, my friend, you will help me with dog walker. Okay. Don't worry. If you have doubts about a question, just let me know and I will help into you with your classmates. Go ahead. Dog walker, Becky Pig, walks in the park every day for many hours. Rain or shine, Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dogs for other people. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. Thank you. Oh, Francisco, I like the way that you read that paragraph. Right now, repeat after me. Many hours. Many, many, hours. Hours. many hours. Many hours. Rain or shine. Rain, Rain or shine. Or shine. Sometimes. 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 Twenty dogs. Twenty dogs. Ahora I got a question for you. Si yo quiero preguntar o quiero decir una vez, ¿cómo podría decirlo? Once. Once. That's right. In these kind of cases, he used just one time, como de una vez. No una vez, sino de una vez. Okay, right now I would need another friend. And my friends to help me would be Ada. Can you help me please with Carlos Ruiz, teacher? Okay, teacher. Uh, Carlos Ruiz is a bossy man. He plans, listen, raise homework, helps with after school activities, uh, and of course, he teach. teaches. Teaches? He teach. He teach. His salary isn't great. But that's okay. His students like his class, so he's happy. Thank you. Okay. BC. Repeat after. BC man. BC man. BC man. Lesson. 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 Great homework. Great homework. Great homework. Great homework. Homework. <laughs> homework. I remember homework. this, Andy. Say it. Hum. Hum. Work. Work. Remember those words. Hum and work. Hum. Work. Hum. Work. Hum. Work. Hum. Work. Hum. Work. If you, if you try to practice those words and try to say together, you will be able to say homework. Okay. Next one. It will be salary. 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 So he's happy. So he's, so happy. he's happy. Happy. Okay, guys. We already read the four 
a square. After I win, I take a break. Who? Ian Blue. I don't usually work in the summer. After work, my feet and my arms are tired. Thank you, Thank you. It's time to verify. You are amazing, guys. <laughs> Believe me. You, you are my proud. I feel so proud of you guys. Okay, guys, we already finished the lesson three, but let me show you something. It's this one. Just a second. We had midterm exam. But this exam will be for tomorrow. We have a listening park a complete conversation park with multiple options, a field park, a ready to car, and another multiple option. Another one, and another one. The test is easy, guys. Just you need to study. Tomorrow in the morning, maybe at 8.30 to 9 o'clock a.m., I will send it to you all a document, a PDF document with all the pictures that we already use in this class. Also, in the first 15 minutes, we, were, uh, we will be practicing uh, all the aims that we already uh, learned in these two weeks, because, uh, <clears throat> sorry guys, because that will help us to answer in the best way that test. En otras palabras, vamos a practicar todos los temas que hemos visto, todos, todos, todos. Les más, después de enviarles este documento, les enviaré yo ciertas actividades que harán para poder hacer todos juntos una actividad como la última que hicimos ayer pero esta vez todos vamos a participar y todos bueno vamos a ayudarnos como preview eh, yo les contaré un fun fact mío es que a mí me da amnesia a la hora que hacen en los exámenes de esa índole así que muy probablemente mañana a la hora del examen, yo no me acuerde de nada. Sí, voy a poder ponerles las imágenes, pero yo no me voy a acordar de nada. Confío mucho en ustedes, son un excelente grupo y sé que lo harán bien. ¿Dudas o preguntas sobre este, esta clase? ¿Estás seguro? Teacher. Dígame. Um, I try to understand the exam for tomorrow. Can you power? Eh, muy bien. Tomorrow we will have an exam. I will give it to you 45 minutes to do it. But just at 9 o'clock, I will just start with the class. Please be on time because we will practice all the aims that we already did. And in 45 minutes, we will answer those parts. Muy bien. No te preocupes, es un examen fácil. Vamos a, eh, se trata más que todo de todos los temas que ya vimos. David, así es que no hay donde perderse. Pueden darle una revisada hoy en la noche o pueden hacerlo si ustedes gustan mañana en la mañana si se sienten más confortable. Yo les doy la hora para que lo hagan de la clase porque si estando todos en Zoom podemos apoyarnos entre todos o al menos entre ustedes. 
como les dije, mañana me dará amnesia y no me voy a acordar de ningún tema a la hora del examen. Pero confío mucho en ustedes. Yo sé que van a haber muchos, muchos, muchos y si es posible, podría apostar que todos van a brillar y van a sacar 100 en ese examen. ¿Por qué? Porque son excelentes alumnos. Los mejores. Don't forget that. You are the best one. You shine like the sun. Muy bien. Otra pregunta. ¿Te respondí tu pregunta, David, o te dejé más confundido? I don't ask. Perdón. A veces me confundo. <laughs> ¿Quién fue que me preguntó? Francis. Ok, Francisco, ¿contesté tu pregunta? Yes, sí, sí. Ok. Para Thanks. las personas que trabajan en horario nocturno, como les Francisco, si no pueden estar en la clase, no hay problema. Recuerden, no quiero que ustedes eh, vayan a tener problemas con su trabajo, que es donde ustedes ganan su pan, por un examen. Háganlo. Eh, si no pueden hacerlo en, en el trabajo, en esta hora, háganlo en su casa antes. Muy bien, guys. It's time to say goodbye. But I love to be here with you. Have a wonderful day. And please, please, be careful tomorrow and enjoy your Thursday. Bye-bye, guys. Good night. Good night, teacher. Feels better. Yeah.